There we go, right across the map. Nice shot, dude. And kill by thermal. The camera breach out, and we've been taken out by a T62. Nice shot, dude. And there we are, dude. We've got another two jets up as well, enemies. And that's our last fire. And we're down and out. There's nothing we can do. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, this is probably going to be the saddest War Thunder video that you've ever seen. We're going to be looking at the Shog Cal delay. This premium was added about a year ago. A good friend of mine and Twitch viewer, shout out to LTC Skill, bought me this tank so that I could grind through my uh, British tech tree. And at the time, it was a fantastic vehicle. But if we look at things now, it's just 8.3. This is just a Centurion with some ERA stuck on. A fantastic round. We got, uh, if you look at the modifications here, we've got this M111 round. It's got 290 millimeters of penetration, 100 meters, and a 30 degree. Now, 8.3, this is a fantastic round. Really good tank, very versatile, but it's got some drawbacks. One of the major drawbacks of this vehicle is that all it sees is 9.0 and 9.3 games, day in and day out. We do get a rare down tier. When we do, we can do very well on this tank, but it's very dependent on which maps we're playing, what BR we find ourselves in. Now, the ERA here does save us from a lot of things. If we just have a look at the bricks here. So we got a 50mm thickness, but this will stop some APHE. It will stop most heat. Things that won't stop are DART, like a good solid APDS round, APFSDS, and of course, uh, ATGMs with uh, over... 600 millimeters of penetration are just going to laugh all the way through. Now we got a couple of trolley spots on here as well, so this is the structural steel battering ram at the front of the tank, and of course it's a scent as well. So a lot of a lot of weird angles with the additional uh, structural steel pieces, uh, you know, dotted around. Some of the ERA bricks are in really awkward places. So if we do get hit by heat at lower BRs, we are quite a survivable vehicle. Now, if we get penned by APHE. Our entire turret crew are sitting in the exact same spot in the tank. We've got a lot of ammunition stored around here. Of course, we won't be bringing this much with us. But yeah, it's not very survivable. If something gets through this vehicle, we're in a lot of trouble. Now, the reason I bring up the constant up tiers is the things that we'll be facing in every single game. Let's have a look at Germany here. The Leo A1A1. We also got the premium... L1A1, L44, sporting thermals. And look at this, look at this round. DM13, 338 millimeters at 30 degrees, 100 meters. Far better round, much more zoom, a more versatile and quicker tank. We also got this guy and this guy. Now, I haven't researched this yet, but I have used it before. This thing is a six second reload. It's got composite armor, which can, you know, it can't, it, there is a chance it will nullify uh, our ammunition, especially when you start to run the heat to get through the heavier uh, Russian vehicles at longer ranges. And as well, the Rad Cam Wagon has now been added. This thing has DM-33. DM-23 stock. The odds are stacked against us. Let's hop into a match. Welcome to 3 Cap Karelia. Now this is a full down tier. This is one of the rare games where, you know, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be slightly better than average uh, than the rest of the vehicles we're gonna be facing. We're currently teamed up with the uh, USA, of course, and Japan, which means we're gonna be facing a lot of these object two seven nines and a lot of the speed guys as well. So we gotta be watching out for uh, old Rocket Boy two seven nines. And uh, just, uh, yeah, there's not there's not many big threats that we're going to see here. There's our first 279. Better be careful, that guy can delete us pretty easy with that APHE shell. Let's see if our teammate that's up on top there can get another shot into this guy. Yeah, our, our dart's completely negating his, uh, the shape of his armor. I can't move here until this guy is gone. Stop paying attention. I am a very poor shot there. He's still not seen me. 
down he goes. Tumbers backside on us. Got a nice shot in there. So we got another guy pushing up this uh, hill in front of us. We need to be really careful of him. I'm probably gonna die here. Managed to get our shot off before he could. Probably lack of depression from that guy. I got very lucky there. Let's keep an eye on this. Crossover. Fairly convinced there's someone down here. Since I saw that marker earlier. A little chevron. I want to chuck some smoke up behind me. And I'm going to push up onto the decap here. Not much activity happening. I love how it's someone's automatic response whenever they die to blame their team. We got a guy on the B cap. We've got no light tanks around, friendly ones. Let's get some artillery on there and kind of spot and see what's happening. Seven's down. We've got a 279 on the B cap. Now, I want to be very careful here. I would like to take both of these vehicles out. Let's see what we've got. It's going to load it in horizontal. He's going to get into cover, likely. 279 hasn't peaked there just yet. T-44 might be an issue later on down the line. Surprise the guy behind. Uh, there's another one here that's just spotted me. T-54 possibly. Now is he gonna... As soon as he starts moving, I'm gonna peek him again. Made a mistake and that's fine by me. This guy's still directly below me. We got an M60 pushing up that direction. Let's go brawl with this guy coming up the hill right now this is a uh, you know we, we're we're in a powerful position we're on a map where we can use our tank its strengths this guy hasn't spotted me he probably won't expect anyone to come from this side looks like he isn't here there he goes we've just got that t-44 left at the top of this hill i'm not sure where this uh, object is either a guy just missed a shot on me Let's try and take this opportunity right now. There he goes, another uh, another M48. I wonder if that's the M47 that we killed from earlier. T44's gun is just showing. Now I'm gonna keep an eye out on that. Let's mark that out for our uh, teammates here. I'm gonna head back towards the the B cab. I do hear someone approaching here so looks like he's already taken hits try and help our teammate out no visual on him I definitely hear him though T4400 just took out my teammate from that uh, that that the elevated position but that warrior is going to push up um, he's probably very vulnerable to whatever is over there just keep an eye out and what's going to happen with this guy he thought it okay I think we're just being abused by a plane now we got a nice uh, bounce off of the ERA with that uh, APHE shot that was just fired at us let's try and pick this guy out mm. yeah he's not interested in us all <laughs> That'll be a Yak-9, likely. I gotta be... Let's get our smoke out here. Someone's definitely pushing up from behind us. CSU. Oh, something much scarier behind them, too. Another T-44-100. Now if he's going to sit there stationary, I want to try a little thing here. Let's keep, a, keep an eye on where he's sitting currently. 
Just missed them. Seems like he's pushing actually. Did he just fired? Maybe two vehicles here. Definitely sounds like two. Just find me with his machine gun. I want to try and side scrape him here. Get on. Oh, he took my breach out. <laughs> I don't have any teammates around about me at all. And I think he's just going to push me aggressively. I couldn't get the elevation in time. There we go. T44 brought me down. It's not a bad eight kills. Uh, but yeah, well, we'll move on to the next map. Nice shot, dude. Now, would you guys believe me if I said that this is the exact same map with the exact same cab count, but we are in a full up here? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't make this this up. You know, we we we've just been in a battle where, you know, we've been uh, the apex uh, predator, and now we are uh, bottom of the food chain in in literally ten minutes. So this will be interesting, and we're going to be facing KPZs and. Uh, Centauros, fast light boys, yeah, like a uh, dark. Now, now we are, you know, we're we're at, we're at a bracket where it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I, I hear someone already. Yeah, these. There we go. We got someone here. This is very likely a Centauro or a similar light vehicle. I want to do the much a similar strategy. Rip up some smoke here. Hit this rock, of course. Not paying attention. Let's get another uh, volley of smoke out. I really don't want to get picked off before we can get into a decent position. It's a Centauro Remor. Um, that's basically a Centauro with dart and some uh, very heavy ERA. This guy's pushing up the top of this hill. I'm going to drop some artillery here. It looks like that should land on top of him. It's a medium tank of some sort. Very likely a Leo or, uh, or something similar. You got a. Uh, Centauro just waiting for us on this corner. Now he can react really fast. So if I fire and he decides that he wants to come pick me off, we need to be really quick to react to it. Otherwise, uh, we're not going to last very long. That's the Leo L44. Down he goes. These two guys now pushing up. They're actually pushing towards me too. That's a KPZ-70. We got his barrel. Some smoke down there. He's using his 20 mil. Radiator engine. Oh, now we're in trouble. There goes my gunner. And there we are, dude. Yeah, a, a huge difference. I mean... The, the way we got pushed by two enemies there, but the, the composite armor of the MBT-70 that we, we just fired at his breach. Um, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, and this, this tank, without the right map, and without being at the correct BR, it's almost utterly useless. Let's take a Reaper out, see if we can, uh, see if we can equalize the battlefield from the air here. It's going to be a very hard premium to recommend. We got a helicopter here. He can do a lot of damage to our team, so... Uh, actually... Yeah, it definitely is a chopper. I'm going to try and... Keep a little bit slow. If we're going too fast... Our RPTs are going to be very inaccurate. Get some shots off on this. Knock this pilot out, that's perfect. Now, those KPZ-70s have a 20mm on top. We got a cluster down here. Now, 
I don't really like to spam my rockets, but when this kind of opportunity knocks, <laughs> it might be uh, it might be a viable option. Got a couple of crits there. Very likely pissed somebody off on this hill. Unfortunately, they weren't sitting together too long, and now we've got a radar SPA firing at us. They're probably not going to last very long now. The Yolk has to hit on his ammunition. There we go. This is it. Gepards are out, Saddam's. We got 20 mils uh, <laughs> firing from the. the the commander gunners are KPZs. We're, we're not doing very well right now. They're flying after those hits. Let's get these uh, center fired RP3s on the go. We try and take this guy out for a team. And then we're down. We'll take a backup out shot, Cal. Uh, and see if we can maybe recover this battle for our teammates here. It could be worthwhile. A couple of kills to the Reaper, including that helicopter actually, and that's three. No prime. Uh, I would really like to spawn. There we go. We obviously need to keep an eye out here. We get nobody, no friendlies at all on this side, other than our guy just killing here in the Object 906. That's the two SPAs that we spotted from earlier. Now, I want to try and play it a little bit safer, but try and get into the same spot I was in before. Come on, slow girl. The slow cow delay. Those jet noises. I don't know if we can maybe get our elevation high up enough. Two up actually already. I don't want to be attracting too much attention to myself because that'll happen. Now, that guy shot me. I wonder if he's gonna push on to B. Oh, there, there we go. There, there, here comes the Nords. <laughs> here comes the Nords. Never lost any crew, but we're, uh, we lost an FPE. And we did lose a track and our engine. I don't know why he's telling me I can't move during tank repair. It's not like I'm trying. Here comes more. Those actually may be mighty mice rockets. There's a second fire. Back to a 26 second repair. We've lost our commander now as well, so the more crew we lose, the longer our repair is going to take us. We've got another two jets up as well, enemies, and that's our last fire. And we're down and out. There's nothing we can do. I can't fire my gun because my barrel's red. Yeah, we, we lose the barrel. That shot doesn't fire, and that's us. We're, we're out of the game. <laughs> we're out of the game. So let's be sensible here for a second. Is this a good tank? Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic tank. It's got a great round, as we've seen. We've got all the machine guns on top for uh, dealing with helicopters, aircraft that are lying, flying too low. We got decent survivability. Is it placed at the wrong BR? No, I don't think so. I think 8.3 for this tank is perfect. I just think that there's a lot of vehicles at 8.7 and above. They probably shouldn't be where they're at. Shout out to you. Flying cancer, dude. That's what this is. Four nords. And, you know, I would be... It would be, uh... Fairly stupid of me to say that uh, I haven't abused this vehicle. But, you know, I, I have. And it is. It's disgusting. I mean, you couldn't put this thing in a 9-0 because an air RBU you wouldn't be doing so well. But for 8.7, ground realistic, this thing is insane. Absolutely insane. I don't know how to fix it. Can we fix it? 
Anyway, is the is the shot kill delay worth it? Personally, I don't think so. I think its heyday is is done. I don't think there's anything we can do with this vehicle to make it better. And now we've got the Roy Cat being added with its 105 GT7 millimeter gun. Look at this DM23. And honestly, this is a great light tank for top tier. Thermals, scouting, a good round, good speed, decent platform. The Roycat 105 is just better. It's it's a, it's a better option. So uh, I don't know. Without uh, without being too sad about it. Rest in peace, Shotgun. Rest in peace. Excellent looking tank. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. Much love. Bye bye.